Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Emily and this is my channel, The Candle Nurse. And in today's video, I have a candle haul from Kringle Candle. This is the Country Candle Limited Edition release that they just had for summer scents. So I wanted to do a quick haul for you guys so that you could see the new candles that I got because I love sharing them with you. Along with the Country Candles, I picked up one large two wick tumbler and then i actually got a candle a large two wick tumbler for free so i'll go ahead and show you that one first without further ado let's get into it so the first candle i'm showing you is donut worry this is such a cute label that you guys can see i love it i love the aesthetic of this label i got this candle for free because it was national donut day or something the day that i purchased my candles and so because i think when you spend a certain amount of money they would put the candle in for free so i love this fragrance this is so good. It's not my hot cider donut from Homeworks, but this one is baked donut, sweet sprinkles, slightly fruity, buttery, nutmeg, cinnamon, creamy, vanilla icing. And you kind of just get all of those mixed and blended very well. This is not like a super strong candle. I have burned one before. I'm trying to remember why I put it in the crock, but I think it's because I messed up with gourmands for me. I'm not a seasonal burner or a seasonal melter. I do whatever I'm feeling like. But for the most part, I found that like really heavy gourmands, really carby scents, I need to do in the fall and winter and like late winter, early spring. Like I think around February, Valentine's Day is kind of like the cutoff for me to do really heavy gourmands. I know some people will go into Easter, but I don't. So I have some Easter like candles that are gourmand candles that I I'm holding off until next year to do because this I did I think too late into spring and it just was like not the right time so I'm saving this one for the fall winter holiday time to get all the yummy carbs it's just it smells so good love that one and then the other large two-week tumbler I got is mermaid scales I love this candle. I've burned one this year already. And so this was a cell that was going on. I believe it was the Memorial Day cell or it was the Father, no, Father's Day cell is when I got this one. These are normally like $34, I wanna say. This was a collection they came out with that was like their fairies collection. It had fairies floss, unicorn poop, and mermaid scales. You can still get mermaid scales and you can still get unicorn poop. Fairy floss has been sold out and like taken off the website. And I don't know if they're bringing these back. So because of that, this label's textured. It's just so, I love the colors and I'm, I'm like into mermaids and like I have a whole theme for my living room and of like aquatic, like anchors and like sea and sails and sailboats and mermaids. So this fits perfectly there. I burned one and I actually have one that I have on display, but I wanted to get one more because I think if this goes away, I don't know that they're bringing it back. So I'm going to hold on to this one. It was poured recently, actually. Yeah, not too long ago. So I'll hold on to it. Did I read you guys the notes? Citrus, orange, bergamot, green, mango, sea salt, sea kelp, floral, and amber. I love like sea salt, sea salt air, like a salty sea air, but this one's got more of a you get that aquatic note, you get the salty sea air note, but then there's like this really beautiful perfume fragrance. Oh, very pretty. So it's it's probably one of my favorites from Kringle. The throw was really good on it, so I wanted to get an extra one. And I had a 25% off coupon that worked on top of the sale. So this candle was on sale for $26. I ended up getting it for $19. So that's like a still. I should have went in for some reserve candles, but I already have all the reserve candles that I want at the moment. So, and let me know if you guys participated in the new reserve candle launch. I didn't. I was going to. I wanted Merlot and I was looking to Bonfire and maybe Heartwood, but I'm like, I just, I didn't do it. I have like six California Cab candles. So I just thought I'll just enjoy those. And if it ever goes on sale, which they normally don't, I'll pick one up. Let's get into the Country Candle Limited Edition Summer Fragrances. So the first one I have is 
summer cooler and it's just this really beautiful like pale blue wax this is a hundred percent soy candle so you'll see the frosting which that's totally normal you guys this delivered to me these guys are on the east coast and this delivered to me in perfect conditions the person who like packed all the packages she is awesome she always leaves like a little note on your packing slip she packaged these so beautiful and they made it perfect even at 110 110 degrees so whatever they did to ship it was, they did it right. It was kind of scary. But right now I've kind of like, am done with receiving anything in the summer. Everything is too hot. It's so hot. You will see a couple vendor wax hauls, but that's because I bought them in April and May and they're getting delivered in June. And I'm, I just can't do summer. I can't do summer with wax. It's too risky. It makes me stressed, you know, but this, yeah, these came and they were in beautiful condition. Summer cooler. And this is berries, orange zest, and sugar. And it is literally just like a really juicy, it's it's kind of like your like like a fire a bomb pop type of fragrance. And you definitely get the cherry in there from like firecracker pop. But the difference is is like this one smells like the you get the bear there's like a blue raspberry note that takes over and it's not like cherry forward for me. So you get more of like that really tart blue raspberry. There's some citrus notes going on and you get a little bit of that cherry on the bottom. So I am, I do appreciate that it's like a mixed berry. They have a zest in here, which this is kind of reminiscent to the tartness you get in the strawberry lemonade. So it's not like, it's like mixed berries with the strawberry lemonade, lemonade aspect. Does that make sense? It's, I'm, I'm definitely getting like a connection between the tartness and the citrus and the zest of strawberry lemonade and with this candle. So I think hopefully they took that same foundation component of strawberry lemonade and put it into this. I don't know, I don't get strawberry, I get like blue raspberry. I'm really happy with it because I normally don't go for those types of scents. I'm not a firecracker pop girl, that's not my type of cherry, but there's something refreshing about this one and I wanted to try it. Next up is Pina Colada. All right, Pina Colada is coconut, pineapple, orange, vanilla, and island breeze. Oh, it's really blended, very nice. It's a little bit on the lighter side when I smell on cold, but that's okay. The only thing that I have to complain about, and this is the only candle, is the wick placement on this one. I don't know if you can see it, but this wick, it, I don't care about like little dips and stuff. That's what soy wax does, but if you see, this wick is placed a little bit towards the middle, almost completely center. This one is just off of the glass, so it makes me a little nervous. And I do love to burn my candles. I mean, I will crock them. There's nothing wrong with crocking. You do get the fragrance out of it, but I really do try to enjoy the burn of a candle. You guys, it's just, it's just your quintessential pina colada. It's so sweet. It really is pineapple forward. You get the coconut underneath the pineapple, but you definitely get the pineapple, the orange then that coconut is like a coconut milk kind of cream. No, underneath it, and there's vanilla that makes it creamy too, that kind of tones down the bite of the pineapple. Because sometimes Kringle's pineapple can be very sharp. It's very beautiful. I just, I don't like stressing about burning these candles, but we'll see. And like I said, you guys might not be able to notice it, like, too bad but when I'm looking at it from the top it's like I can see that it's like I can put like two fingers here between this wick and only one on this side so we'll see we'll see what I'm gonna do with this one all right blood orange and this one is orange juicy fruit grape grapefruit lemon and lemonade so this one's lighter than like summer cooler this is I'm really shocked because I was expecting it to be a little bit more strong because usually their citrusy scents are stronger. You definitely get an orange. It's funny because it's called blood orange and it's there's no blood orange in the fragrance notes and I don't smell blood orange in the candle. I do get a citrus note. If there's grapefruit, it's underneath it and it's definitely giving it like a different, so I'm not sure if they're just making it a conceptual blood orange. like. We're gonna mix grapefruit and orange and make it blood orange. I, I don't know if that's what that is, and but there's definitely a tartness underneath that you get from the grapefruit sp specifically, but the grapefruit's not on the top for me. But you do get that lemon. Yeah, I'm really interested. It's it's beautiful color. Very, it's, it's, it's beautiful. I'm not mad at it. It's very nice. I do all my, like, I don't do a lot of my 100% soy candles in my open concept because it's not strong enough. I do them in my office. So 
it's for me to enjoy in here. I generally will put them in a hurricane, although I heard they updated these wicks because in the summer, uh, spring, early spring, summer collection that they did with like cake pops and charred pineapple, lemon tea and roses, the wicks are drowning for some reason. And I, I suspect that the wicks are just like falling in. The other factor is that their wick glue is coming loose and it's not a problem that I've had with a lot of candles. It's something that I've noticed with Kringle that I'm not understanding, but when, and you'll see it in my empties video, I have a cake pops that I went through and it gets to about here and you have all this wax left, the wicks start to travel and they'll either go into each other or they start to go out. That's dangerous. You guys need to make sure you put your candles out. So that was a little bit disappointing. I'm not sure. I've had that happen to me several times, so it's not like a one-off. And so I always have to be very mindful that as I get to the middle, that I'm minding how long I'm burning these, that as the pool starts to happen, that I need to watch the wicks and make sure they're not traveling. I do limit my country candle now to, you know, three, three hours, four is the max that I will melt them. And it's only because I had the issue where the wicks from strawberry lemonade just drowned in the wax. They just like disappeared. Like I had a healthy wick and in the midst of the empties video, it just, it just went out. And when I showed you guys the wicks, they were like nubs. When I melted it in the crock, it was long again. So I just, I don't know if it just kind of like curled or bent or did something like really flexible in, in the wax, but it just didn't hold its own shape in there. So I heard they updated the wicks and that these should burn a little bit better. Regardless, there's maintenance that goes into candles. You need to watch your candles. When people say they like to light it and walk away and forget about it, that's kind of hard to do when you have a flame in your home. And that's my opinion. Others might say otherwise. They might think otherwise. I, I just think that it's really important to pay attention to your candles. Whenever I have candles burning, and I do several at a time, sometimes, not all the time, I always loop around my house several times a day as I'm checking on them to make sure that they're burning appropriately, they're not smoking, nothing's around it, that the kids, it's not a spot where the kids are going to run by and hit it. You just got to maintain your candles. You need to trim your wicks. If you get those carbon balls or the wicks get too long, you need to make sure you're trimming them to have the optimal burn. Okay, so I have one more candle for you from this haul. Juicy Peach, and this is Peach, Orange, Mango, and Sweet, which that's weird. Now, this is a different peach scent than some, oh, the wax is really soft, you guys. I don't know. It's not my favorite peach, but I don't like to judge things too harshly before I warm them. I'm getting more, it's not like farm stand peach from Homeworks. It's kind of light. It's, it's really light. I'll see. I don't know. I feel like I'm getting more of a mango right up front than the peach. So different. Not mad at it. They're all beautiful. I do like them all. I was very thoughtful and methodical about purchasing purchasing these candles and which ones I really wanted. Did you guys pick up any from this limited edition collection? Let me know down below. But that's it, you guys. Pretty light haul. I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much uh, for watching my video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you're interested in being notified whenever I post a video. I hope you guys have a great weekend and we'll see you in the next video.